Continuing to follow developing news out of the nation's capital, President Trump is promising an orderly transition a day after protests outside the U.S. Capitol turned violent. Four people died, including one woman who was shot by Capitol Police. Deborah Alfarone has the latest from the Capitol. The FBI is asking for help finding those behind Wednesday's assault at the Capitol. The agency set up a website for people to upload photos and videos of rioters who smashed their way into the building. The government did this to us. We were normal, good, law-abiding citizens, and you guys did this to us. Some pro-Trump protesters breached the Senate chamber. One sat at a desk inside Speaker Nancy Pelosi's office, leaving a note saying, we will not back down. They don't get to steal it from us. Police fired at a woman who tried to climb through a window. She later died. Today, it's quiet here at the Capitol. 150 additional National Guard members are maintaining a perimeter around the complex, bringing the total to 300. Congress was in the process of confirming President-elect Joe Biden's electoral college win at the time of the riot. Lawmakers took cover anywhere they could. Shots are being fired inside the Capitol chamber. New York Congressman Tom Swazi captured the chaos on his cell phone. Uh, I started to leave the chamber and started to hear pop, pop, pop. In a statement, President Trump said there will be an orderly transition on January 20th, but Washington's mayor has extended a public emergency order through Inauguration Day because of concerns of more violence. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Three others died of medical emergencies on the Capitol grounds Wednesday. More than 50 people have been arrested so far. Once the debate in